Gentlemen's and Buddy Ganoon's life partner, Tracy. I don't judge. Welcome back to the shop today. Uh, electronicals for the back of the class. The stoners, the, the jocks, the meatheads, the metalheads, the metal shop guys. We are going to look at Qi wireless charging. Short, curly, and stinky of it. It's called inductive coupling. That's the fancy term. Now, how does that work? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. Starting off at the beginning, as every curious little boy and girl must, making electromagnets. So what we do is we wrap a copper conductor around a iron core, and what we get is an electromagnet. Watch this. Watch this. No, oh, not working. Watch this. Yeah, working. Huh? Easing the tip in just a little bit more in depth. What's happening here is we got current flowing through here and it is creating a static magnetic field. A static means a stationary, it's not moving. So we get a magnetic field, it's not moving. So if we take a, a magnetic field, just a magnetic field, and we put it on a coil, nothing happens because there has to be some relative movement. Ooh. <laughs> Magnets, I mean, that's a whole other thing. That is JFM. But what we can do here is we can induce a current in this, or a, a, a voltage in this, and thereby a current, by moving it through a magnetic field. Now, we won't get much of a current through here, just with this magnet and me moving it by hand, stroking her back and forth, but there will be some there, and I'll prove it to you. And we can see there's all kinds of noise in the shop here. It's going to generate some voltage. You see that weeble, weeble wobbling around there? That's me. That's me with my very own hands. So we're in inducing a voltage in that wire by moving a magnetic field through it. In a previous video, I used a simple relay, actually two relays, in order to fire a, an LED to get a strobe effect. If you don't understand relays, maybe go back and watch that video. I'll put it in the doobly-doo there. So what is happening here is it's an oscillator. It's turning off and on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to use this oscillator to turn or and on the current to one of these coils. And turning off and on the current to the coil will make the, well, it'll turn off and on the magnetic field. I've substituted this coil of wire for the LED in the circuit. Now we see what's going on. You don't see anything. Oh, that gets fucking hot in a hurry. But let's have a look at the scope. Now that gets too hot to hold. You can see we're getting quite a bit of voltage there. Three, four volts. Aye, aye. Tabel knock, see you Now we're going to sort of kind of quarter ass these together in an air gap. Nothing touching. Electrically touching. Got the old slinky routine here. It'll never come apart. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We'll have a look at the scope to see if we're getting voltage. And see, we got lots of nice voltage, even more actually. That, now that's all fine and goodly there, Ryan Dexter, but I still don't get it. I hear you, I hear you. Here is, well, here's the guts out of a inductive charger. So we'll put 12 volts on this side. I think that's what that says. And we'll put five volts on this. Well, no, we're not gonna put anything on that side. This wire free. We got her in the helping hands. We're going to apply 12 volts to here. All this is doing, it's an oscillator. It's going to clack it on and off real, real quick. Kilohertz in the kilohertz range. So thousands of times per second. Now we have nothing on here. No wires connected. Of course, if you visualize it, what we have is a collapsing and increasing magnetic field and it's going around in circles. And here's the proof in the pudding. We just get close. There we go. We're not even that close. And the light turns on. We turn away, light turns off. It's an air gap transformer. Simple as that. The closer we get, the more power transfer we get. Further away we get, the less transfer power we get because the magnetic field is weaker. It's so fucking simple. All that's happening, my battery pack is dying, but all that's happening, we're turning on and off the electricity and the magnetic field is expanding and contracting. We put another coil close by. It's picking up on that expanding and contracting field. It induces a voltage in the coil and we see the light is blinking. That's blinking lights. And thanks for watching. 
Keep your dick in a vice.